Now, many hospitals in Metro Manila are now starting to get overwhelmed with the surge in COVID cases. Uh, matagal nang may problema, kulang ang mga doktor, lalo sa mga malalayong lugar. Wala nang hospital dahil wala kami pera. Kaya sa, sa probinsya na lang kami nag-aano, kasi sa probinsya na lang, wala ka rin pera, hindi rin nilalabas yung gamot. Kailangan may pera ka rin. Melba Irene Gabuya. I am a clinical instructor at the School of Nursing of Ateneo de Davao University. I have worked in public health years back, while well, after gradu uh, after ta got, uh, getting my license, I was at SPMC, the uh, Saint Philippines Medical Center. Hello, my name is Cindy May A. Angara from San Pedro College. I graduated no July 15, 2022. Then I took up Bachelor in Science of Nursing. What struggles have you experienced working in healthcare? Previously, because I'm not in public health now, previously, uh, there were a lot of patients. And I think there are still a lot of patients until now. It's just that the number of nurses has, in, uh, has increased in the public health. Uh, isa yan siya na nakakapagod. Tapos, maraming umalis. That I know of until now. Maraming umaalis din nagtatagal kasi hindi agad nare-regular. So the salary is not as good. Uh, gugutumin ka. Tapos ang hirap ng trabaho. So you can just imagine the pandemic these days. When you have a lot of patients and you are there trying to survive, trying to make yourself alive while everybody is dying and yet hindi ka paid ng tama. So isa yan sa mga struggle sa public health. Uh, maliban dyan, di ka agad na regular kasi kailangan mo may kakilala para ma... This is reality. Para mas mauna ka. But hopefully, they will change that. In time, kasi walang nurses eh. Kaya kailangan nila ng marami ngayon. Why do you think that most fresh medical graduates believe that working in urban areas is more advantageous? Um, honestly, it's easier for us when it comes to finding a job. Since it is, ano man, it's my increased pay with regards of medical health care, then ability to work in other departments or specific patient population when it, sa hospital mismo, then <clears throat> meron din yung ano, very advancement, which sa incoming future nurse, ay marami kaming pwede makuhaan for work as katulad ng other jobs. Pwede kami mag dialysis nurse, ICU nurse, um, ER nurse. Pwede yun. So, then, kung urban, kay plenty, plenty of resources. So, there's a shortage of medical personal, personnel in rural areas. What do you think is the reason behind this? Hmm. Actually, uh, the shortage is not really on the number of uh, available positions in the rural areas, but it's more on uh, the reason why doctors do not practice in rural areas. Number one, because um, after graduation po kasi ng medical school, uh, some most of the doctors would want to train further to specialize no? into pediatrics, neurology, or whatever specialization you would have. So, sa rural areas, uh, we don't have these training centers. And these training centers are only located in highly urbanized cities. And in fact, sa Mindanao, I think the training area lang po is in Cagayan de Oro, Davao City, and Samboanga. The rest of the cities don't have a approved na training centers. So that's why there's really a lack of doctors in rural areas because doctors choose to specialize and wala pong specialization center within the rural areas. Based on the, 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 idea, the, the things that I, because I go on duty in public health at saka I also talk to my students, my previous students, perhaps one of the reasons uh, why is that there are only few that are being hired. It's not that nurses do not want to work there. It's just that there are limited hiring for nurses in public health. And when you hire them, you are not easily being given the regular status. So you are paid less. Now, if you are going to work there and you are paid less, 
and there are other opportunities where you can feed your family more and better, that's part of the reason. So one reason is there is decreased number of hiring. Number two, uh, there are better opportunities outside. As a doctor po, what can you say about the Doctors to the Barrios program? Okay. So the Doctor to the Barrios program is the initiative po of the Department of Health uh, since uh, DOH Secretary Fabier. And it's really good because they are encouraging you know, these young doctors. Uh, they will give scholarships in return uh, after graduation, after taking the board exams, they will have a return service of two years. Para naman, uh, ma, they will be deployed to areas na nangangailangan ng mga doctor. So it's a really good program. I like it. I like Doctors Libar program because I have friends who are doctors who went to as far as Libak, went as far as those areas in Maguindanao and Sultan Kudarat and also those parts in Cotabato. There are scholars who are asked to pay a year or two to serve, right? So Doctors the Barrio program are necessary because it will give the people the chance to be with doctors. However, I have to be very realistic about it. The Doctors program, the Doctors the Barrio program are usually doctors who are fresh grads. They are not yet specialists, okay? So how I wish that the country will find time to pay for specialist doctors, for doctors who finish residency programs, to be able to, to man the places quite far from, from or rather in the provinces. What help can the government give to improve the healthcare services in rural areas in Mindanao? So, uh, with the help naman, uh, the DOH naman is um, doing something, no? aside from the DTTB programs, meron naman silang uh, mga, they are giving funds to hospitals in rural areas to improve their infrastructure. They also have um, a complement naman po sa kanilang human resource. So, instead, kasi uh, with the hospitals po, kasi sa rural areas, they are owned by the LGUs for the, the, the local government units. And some of these local government units don't have enough funding for uh, to buy medicines or to buy equipment sa hospitals or to pay for human resource. So, DOH is augmenting them by giving them funds to improve this, uh, to pay for salaries of nurses and doctors. And um, we really do hope na ma-achieve natin yung goals ng universal healthcare. Puro dagdaga nila ng doctors uh, with the budget, make the compensation lucrative. Number one, DOA should provide. Number two, make sustainable programs with doctors and nurses. Number three, make compensation attractive. Number four, please provide medicines from the national level down to that. But I know that the, the barangay right now are providing. But it also is based on the era. Kung malaking kita, maraming maibigay. Pero kung maliit lang, wala kang mall sa lugar mo, variety store lang, talaga maliit lang din yung kita. And then make use, next is make use of community-based leadership, uh, partnership and collaboration. In this documentary, we want to inform our audiences that we are in need of job opportunities for medical professionals, more specifically in rural areas of Mindanao. Many Filipinos struggle to earn money in order to pay for their medicines and appointments at the hospital, as well as many aspiring doctors are struggling on finding hospitals that are hiring for their specific jobs. In rural areas of Mindanao, where there are many citizens and doctors who lack supplies and services, especially the jobs themselves, including the medical equipment. Equity in health outcomes for rural and remote populations in low- and middle-income countries is limited by a range of socio-economic, cultural, and environmental determinants of health. To increase the percentage of the health workforce that practices in undeserved rural and remote areas, health professional education that is sensitive to the needs of the local population and that attends to all factors of the rural pathway is essential. Through continuing medical education, the Dr. Seda Barrios program has also given participating doctors relevant training and skills in public health. 
It is intended to prepare doctors for their particular challenges they would face as clinicians and health administrators in their assigned municipalities.